If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is the Takumi Sen 9, and it's pretty much the exact same shoe as last year's version, but for us runners, that's a good thing. Yo, what's going on everybody? And today I want to talk to you guys about a very fast shoe, the Takumi Sen 9. But before I give you my thoughts on this shoe, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I bought myself. No one sent it to me. No one's paying me to make this video. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Takumi Sen 9. First, let's go over some specs. And for those of you who are familiar with the Takumi Sen 8, they're going to sound very familiar. This is a 33 millimeter stack height shoe in the heel with a six millimeter drop giving us 27 millimeters of stack height in the forefoot in that midsole we've got two things that you're going to be standing on you've got light strike pro which is adidas's premier racing foam and we've also got energy rods now underneath you can kind of get a little peek into what those energy rods are it's like these little rigid elements that are kind of lined up with the bones of your feet at least that's the idea and what it does is it kind of serves like a carbon fiber plate although the energy rods in the takumi sen 9 uh, are not carbon they are some sort of plastic composite uh, but they do provide that rigidity and a little bit of stability and because they are separated into these rods rather than uh, as a single plate uh, that does add in a little bit of flexibility and adidas has always said that it also gives them the ability to individually tune each one of those rods separately depending on the specific needs of the shoe or even potentially a specific runner. Now on the upper we have at least 50% recycled materials and the main difference between this year and last year's version seems to be that this year is an update of kind of the design language so that it matches with the rest of the shoes for this current racing year. This year there's a little bit more of kind of like this mesh paneling reinforcement right here on the medial side of your foot kind of like right behind your big toe but in terms of the lacing system it's still a difficult shoe to kind of like get in uh, but once you're in there you're very nice and snug it's almost like a corset of a lacing system for this shoe but it's a shoe that's meant to be run fast in so it's one of those things where you really do enjoy being strapped in the tongue is nice and loose and for those of you who had problems with this or the prime x tongue or the adios pro tongue uh, it's going to be very familiar and it's very much the same for me it is a little bit tricky to kind of get in the shoe but overall i like it because i like a minimal tongue i like it to kind of stay out of the way and not be something that I ever have to think about. Moving down to the outsole, we have a very similar outsole pattern as last year and we have the continental rubber again, providing that sticky grip with a lot of durability. On paper, this shoe is almost the exact same shoe as it was last year, although it does come in one tenth of an ounce lighter at 6.4 ounces for this year or about three grams lighter at 181 grams. All right, paper specs are one thing, but let's talk about what it was like to run in the shoe. And again, the Takumi Sen 9 is a lot like the Takumi Sen 8. But for me, that's a really good thing because this was one of my favorite shoes of last year. And it is a shoe that I found that I had lots of uses for and I really enjoyed racing in it. We've got a lot of the same features and sensations going on in the Takumi Sen 9. It still is that lightweight, nimble 5K, 10K racing shoe that you could also use for your tougher marathon workouts. Those ones that you might not necessarily be the longest, but where you're gonna be picking up the pace just a little bit, that's where the Takumi Sen 9 really is going to fit into my rotation. As far as the actual feeling of that midsole foam, I feel like the Takumi Sen is a really great way to experience what light strike is. You're getting just kind of like, I don't want to say a minimal amount of it, but you're getting a little bit less of it than you would get, say, in the Adios Pro, the full marathon racer. Uh, and there's a little bit less kind of like interference from the energy rods that are in here. I don't really get a strong sense that they're contributing a lot to the overall experience. So I feel like I'm really getting a direct sensation of what the Light Strike Pro is. It is a foam that I feel is relatively quick compression and quick decompression. And by keeping it a little bit of a shorter stack than in the full marathon racer, it feels like a much more nimble shoe as well. And I really enjoy racing 5Ks in this shoe. In the last year's version, I was able to race a 5K PR in it. And I feel like it's just about the perfect 5K, 10K 
racing shoe. The overall sensation between the Takumi Sen 9 and Takumi Sen 8 is both of these are really fantastic shoes. I'm just having a very hard time telling the difference other than the fact that one of them has last year's kind of design language and one of them has this year's design language. So let's get to the summary points where I talk about what this shoe is best for and some other shoes that you might want to consider. I think that this shoe is best for 5k, 10k racing, but it's also really fun for marathoners to take on some of their faster workouts. It's not necessarily only a race day shoe, but it's certainly not an easy day every training shoe. Now, if you're looking at this shoe, there's probably some other shoes that you're also considering. And I think that this kind of shows where some of the gaps are in kind of my reviewing repertoire. So I don't review a lot of 5K, 10K shoes, but I think other 5K, 10K shoes like the SC Pacer, like the Streak Fly, are going to give similar kind of use cases, if not the similar experience to the Takumi Sen series. Another shoe that, that I have reviewed that I think is kind of a dark horse and a little bit underrated that you might want to also consider if you're looking at the Takumi Sen is the Puma Liberate. This is a very lightweight shoe that has just Puma's nitro foam in it. It's very low to the ground and it is very snappy. It's also a very flexible shoe. It's a shoe that I've basically only been saving for when I want to get onto the track and rip some really fast repetitions there, but don't necessarily want to put on a spike. This is a kind of shoe that I would reach for. And I feel like it's probably the closest other shoe that I can think of to the Takumi Sen 9. So that's one you might want to also consider. Now, if you are going to go with the Takumi Sen 9 and want to find some other shoes to pair it with, I think right now Adidas has a really nice collection of shoes if you want to keep it all in the three stripe family. So you can pair it with the Adizero SL for your daily training needs. It's light strike with a light strike pro insert up towards the forefoot. I feel like this is going to be really great for your daily training miles and also give you a lot of similar feelings to the Takumi Sen 9. And if you want to go up for marathon racing, I feel like the Takumi Sen 9 can pair really well with the Adios Pro 3. It's kind of like the bigger sibling version of it, more stack height, carbon energy rods and designed for that marathon distance. And now the design language is the same between all of these shoes. So those are some natural pairing options. Now let's talk about the buying guide. The Takumi Sen 9 retails for $180 and right now it's not eligible for any promotions on the Adidas website, but last year's version to Kumi Sen 8, which I've been talking about a lot in this video and talking about a lot how they're pretty much exactly the same, these two shoes, is still available on the Adidas website, multiple colors in lots of sizes. Some of them are like a hundred bucks, but others are as cheap as $90 on the Adidas website. Uh, and I think that's a fantastic price. That is what I would recommend for you guys to get. You guys have been messaging me a lot recently about how you're able to get that price even lower than $90. So you can easily get the Takumi Sen for at least 50% off, if not more. And because the Takumi Sen 8 and 9 are so similar, unless you really need all your shoes to be matchy matchy this year, I would say definitely go with the Takumi Sen 8. So those are my thoughts on the new Takumi Sen. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?